Hello and welcome back to my channel. I don't know if this has happened to you, but I don't want this to happen to me anymore. It actually started happening when my kids were using the TV remote to play and they accidentally bought some movies with one click on Amazon Prime. And actually to avoid this, I have this video right here that I will add on the card right here. But today is about avoiding our kids to purchase games or things that they can use in a game. For example, while playing Roblox, they can actually buy accessories to their dolls. If they don't have the right settings on their devices, they will spend money that you don't want to be spent. So what you have to do is go to settings, tap on screen time, tap on content and privacy restrictions, tap on items and app store purchases, and then tap on in-app purchases. Tap don't allow, tap on or off, whatever you wanna choose. Also, another way to do it is by setting up family settings. If you have followed this video right here, you'll learn how to set up an iPad for kids. But actually, setting up an iPhone or iPod for your kids is pretty similar, so feel free to use this video as well for reference. On that video, I show you how you can set up devices for your kids since the very beginning. When you set up family sharing, you can change the as to by settings. How as to buy works? Let me tell you how as to buy works. Your kids can go to Apple Store and try to download any app they want. When they do, a pop-up message like this will appear on their device ask for permission. A request to buy will be sent to you as a parent or guardian, and you as a parent will automatically get a pop-up message as well, letting you know the request of your child. Then you as a parent or the family organizer will decide whether to approve or decline this request. Approved. If you decide to approve the request and complete the purchase by signing in with your Apple ID and password to make the purchase, the application in this case automatically downloads to your child's device. If you turn on purchase sharing, this item will also be shared to the rest of the family group. The client, if you or the family organizer decide that this app is not appropriate or it is too expensive or just don't want to get it right now, you can decline the request and no purchase or download will take place. However, if your child re-downloads a purchase, downloads a shared purchase, installs and updates, or uses a redemption code, the family organizer won't receive a request. This feature, as to buy, is recommended for families after or while they set up family sharing. And you can turn on this feature for any member who is not an adult. However, it is turned on by default on any children under 13 years old. You'll be asked to set up as to buy when you invite anyone under 18 to your family group. Once your child turns 18 years old and you turn the feature as to buy off, you won't be able to turn it on again. Now I'm gonna show you how you turn on or off as to buy. If you are a parent or guardian, use your own device to turn on or turn off as to buy. On your iPhone, iPad, open the settings app, then tap your name and tap family sharing. Tap your family member's name, then tap as to buy. And use the toggle to turn on or off as to buy. How to approve or decline a request. If you are the family organizer, use your iPhone, iPad, Apple Watch, or Mac to approve or decline a request. Open the notifications to see the item that your family member wants to get. Approve or decline the purchase. What happens if you approve? Sign in with your Apple ID and password to make the purchase. If you turn on purchase sharing, the item is also shared with the rest of the family group. 
If you didn't approve a request, your child will get a notification letting him know that you declined the request. If you dismiss the request or don't make the purchase, the child will need to make the request again. Any requests that you decline or dismiss are deleted after 24 hours. You can, where you can find your ask to buy requests. If you miss an ask to buy notification, you can find the request in notification center on your iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch or Apple Watch or a Mac. Add another approver. The family organizer can give another parent or guardian in the group over the age of 18 permission to manage as to buy requests. Only one adult needs to manage each purchase. And after it's done, the purchase is final. On your iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch, go to settings, tap your name, tap family sharing and then tap your family member's name and tap parent guardian. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions about these or if you have any other suggestions of videos that you would like me to make. I really hope you find this video useful and if you did please don't forget to click on the like button and on that subscribe button down below. Thank you so much for watching and see you the next time. Bye bye!